Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the DJI Osmo Action 4. So I actually ended up going with the Adventure Bundle. It was a hundred bucks more than just the camera itself. And it comes with the camera, uh, an extended selfie stick, as well as some extra batteries and a battery case. So I was going to buy a selfie stick anyway to use this camera for vlogging and kind of taking some far away almost drone like shots so i thought why not get the one from dji itself as it had some pretty good reviews and it looked pretty sturdy and the last thing was the battery case so the battery case is pretty cool because it allows you to charge all the batteries at once instead of charging the battery within the camera itself so i wanted to make sure to get that and for 100 bucks i think it kind of made sense so just taking it out of the box, I see there's two boxes here uh, and then the selfie stick at the bottom. So let's go ahead and explore the selfie stick uh, first to see how it feels in the hand. So taking the selfie stick out of its packaging it feels really good. Um, there's a rubberized texture around the base, around the handle of the selfie stick where you hold it. Um, and it feels pretty grippy and, and good to hold. Uh, I feel sturdy and heavy. Um, it extends quite long. Um, there is quite a bit of, I'd say, tension when you're pulling it out, which is good, which means that it won't just kind of slide in and out. And there is a screw in mount at the bottom, so you could put this on a tripod technically if you want to. So let's just put that aside for now and see what else is in the box. I don't know if you get all of this in the normal, um, just the camera bundle, but I'm sure you do just cause it's like, looks pretty standard stuff. So you get a small USB-C to USB-C cable for charging the battery if you want to charge it when it's in the camera itself. You get these quick adapters, so they allow for mounting the DJI Action 4 really quickly. There's a couple of clips that you can undo on the side and it's magnetic, so it just snaps into place. I'll show that more in the full review later. And here is the battery case. So it comes with two extra batteries. So there's one that comes with the camera itself and then two extra batteries and then this case that is actually really sleek and small. So I'm gonna get it out of the packaging here. Struggling a bit. And yeah, here's the case. It's very compact, very small, looks awesome. It does catch a couple of fingerprints. It shows you the battery status on the outside, orange being it needs to be charged and then green means it's charged. The batteries are pretty small, uh, but they last very long. Uh, if you're just shooting, you know, standard 4K 30, something like that, uh, they'll last almost maybe more than an hour. This case has a USB-C port on the side where you can kind of plug in and charge it. Let's throw away the instructions. This is a couple other small things for the camera itself. I don't really know what they are. Uh, I'm gonna go look it up what, what they are used for. Here's the camera itself. It's telling you how to use the quick snap mounting accessory. So in the box looks like there's the camera itself. Um, which is super small, way smaller than I honestly thought it would be. Um, and the act, there's a case. So this case is basically allowing you to shoot vertical videos because the camera itself doesn't allow you to put the selfie stick vertically and you need to put the selfie stick vertically to be able to shoot vertical videos. So this case, once you put the camera inside, it adds a, a layer of protection for any dings or bumps or things like that. And also it allows you to shoot vertically, which I think is pretty interesting. I don't know why you need to have a case to shoot vertically. 
I actually ended up getting a separate, uh, more robust metal case anyway. I'll show that in a later video. The reason that I actually got a metal case is because I actually wanted to mount a mic on top of it for vlogging. Here's this little sticky mount adapter thing. So I, I'm guessing you can put this on a helmet or a bike or something and just stick there permanently. Uh, and then you can quickly add or remove the DJI action from there by uh, putting the magnetic mount on top of it with these little screws. So they give you, I think you get one screw usually, but you get two if you get the adventure bundle. So that's that. And then here's another magnetic mount. So you get two magnetic mounts instead of just a single one. All right, let's move on to the camera itself. As you can see, very small. It's like smaller than the palm of my hand. Um, taking out of its little packaging. The screen is quite large on the back. There is a touch screen at the front as well, which GoPros don't have. And here's the large wide angle sensor. It's 155 degrees field of view, so which is really large. You can zoom in a little bit to improve the warpness from the sides, but otherwise it's a really good angle. And that's where you put in the battery and the SD card. And on the flip side is where the USB connector is, where you can charge the battery right from the camera. Or how I'm gonna be using it is connecting an external mic directly there. So you can just plug a mic directly into the USB port and it will start recording from the external mic. Cool, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.